Hi there! Welcome to another review and play by Ale Ventures. Today we are reviewing and showing how to play the rules for Pegasus. The game was made by Brain Games and today is sponsored by Saga Games of Frederick, Maryland. Please support your local game store by either visiting them in person at Saga Games or going online to sagagames.com. And with that, let's get into some rules. Today's game is Pegasus by Brain Games. Pegasus is a matching game in which you race to match two mixed up creatures based on the common base creatures they share. For example, if one card is a giraffe gir or gorilla giraffe and another card is a giraffe gorilla, you have a match. If one card is a gorilla giraffe and another card is a gorilla alligator, you don't have a match. To set up the game, remove all cards from the box shuffle them and set 16 face down to the side they won't be used this game next and most importantly set the squeaky pegasus toy within easy reach of all players finally select one player to be the dealer the instructions suggest either the last person to see a pig fly or the youngest player but your method is up to you hand the dealer the shuffled deck of cards excluding the 16 you set aside one by one the dealer flips and reveals cards for all players to see. If you see a pair of animals that have exchanged their bodies, grab the Pegasus and squeak it. All play stops and you point to the two animals that match. If they matched, congratulations. Take the two cards, these are your points. You also become the new dealer and place the Pegasus back within reach of all players if it turns out you were wrong, you must take one card from the pile of points and return to the box, removing it from the game for each player in the game, including yourself. So if you make a wrong guess in a three player game, you'll lose three cards to a minimum of zero. And of course, if you don't have any cards to get rid of, you do nothing. The dealer does not change hands in this case. Now, a couple of special cases. If you touch the Pegasus lightly, but don't grab or squeak it, it's a wrong grab. You lose points for that as if you made a wrong guess, so be confident. <laughs> if, you more, if more than one player grabs the Pegasus at the exact same time, the player who is holding the biggest chunk of the Pegasus wins the grab. Unfair advantage to people with bigger hands, so be quick. If everyone agrees that more than one player is holding an equal share of the Pegasus, then everyone who guesses correctly gets one card from the match. Of course, if two people grab equal parts of Pegasus, then it's up to the table to determine how to fairly let each person show their guess. No peeking on the other player's picks just to copy them. If more than two players grab the Pegasus, you've gotten farther than the rulebook did, so make a table ruling. The game ends when the last game ends and, of course, an impossible score. The player who collected the most cards is the winner. If there's a tie, then start drawing from the 16 that were set aside. The first person to break the tie now wins. All right, so what'd you think? I thought this was really challenging. Uh, I think this is one of those games that really uh, has you concentrate on a few of the cards. And I think some people have a, uh, a bias for what they're expecting. You have to kind of think in an abstract way. It definitely is fun, but it's going to take me a few goes to kind of think a certain way in order to see the matches. What did you think? Uh, I think that this definitely has an audience. I would definitely play this with younger kids. Mm. This is good. It's not very rules heavy and it's going for silly animals. Yeah. Of course, if you're an adult, you don't want to be like smacking it out of their hands. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Dunking on your five-year-old. Uh, where would you play this game? Um, so, you know, I think that whenever we do our events out at uh, the breweries, I have a bias of saying that a game, oh yeah, this one's easy to play. Yeah. And uh, three rules in, the person who I'm trying to learn, teach how to play, yeah. are looking at me like I'm a crazy our, person. Our, this, this is legitimately easy yeah. to learn how to play. And, and the best thing is, is that this is a, a competitive game. Uh, people are having to lunge over the table to kind of... Uh, uh, go after something so it's interactive, you know, there's uh, a, a quick play where eventually, you know, if someone, then we uh, didn't really quite touch on it, but like if someone has a wrong uh, grab, yeah. and if someone else sees a match on the table, they can actually go for it after the fact. So while everybody's celebrating or laughing at somebody for missing, they can, when we had like, what, in our playthrough, we had like 20 cards that yeah. were on the table, you could actually still use that time to buy yourself. Yeah, and I would say that this would benefit better from a larger group of people. I yeah. Know. And I think you're also going to see where some people, this game isn't going to be for them because they're not making the connections as fast as 
other players. Right. And so one person could ostensibly dominate the table, and yeah. that's not going to be fun for us. And who wants to lose to a seven-year-old? <laughs> I mean, we all kind of do because we're kind of expecting some games. I think this is one of those games where uh, if you get it, you get it, and if you don't get it, you're probably going to have problems getting it, and it might not be fun for you. But if you push through and learn kind of how it all operates and just kind of think in a – if you develop a strategy, like learn by the colors, like that leads you into something, uh, realize that there's only so many uh, animals in the game and combinations, that will help get in there. I would think this is a great game for like when you're sitting down, getting ready for served at a restaurant or something, you just have a quick table before everyone has their plates out and stuff. I would put this uh, out and we can just, you know, get some time over with. If you're going camping and you just yeah. want something quick to throw down, Absolutely. Keep, keep the kids busy. I think, Absolutely. think this will do it at a picnic table. And kids love squeaky things, you know, so I'm sure this would be right the way. Uh, do you realize though you might be inviting pain because the squeaky pig might be following you around the campsite or the house afterwards, so that's on you. But uh, I'm Ryan and this is Mike and thank you for joining this review and play. Cheers, bud. Cheers.